Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So we just finished weekly contest 146. So let's discuss about the third question, minimum cost three of from leaf values. So we are given array of integer, and then this is basically a possible. That there are multiple possible way of forming a tree. So we are given constraint that the tree, each of the node can have either zero child or two child and then the tree itself need to be respecting the in order traversal of the array so in the first example here um, as you can see um, it's still respecting the array with the in order traversal so it's six two six two and four right and this is another possible tree right six two and four so it's still respecting the in order traversal whenever we print it but there are a lot of three possibility that can be formed so yeah and the other thing is the parent node itself is being formed by the largest number from its left and largest number from its right so here six and two multiply is 12 and then 24 is from 4 and 6 because 6 is the largest leaf from the left side and 4 is the largest leaf from the right side and same thing from the second tree so 6 2 and 4 the largest one from left and right is 2 and 4 it's become 8 and 24 from this 6 and 4 itself yeah so how are we going to solve this problem so basically we need to this is a DP question so we need to try we, we can try to solve it by the smaller tree first and then um, we take the, the sub problem uh, to solve the larger tree yeah so um, I create a result class to return a maximum multiplier and result because we need the maximum multiplier from the right and maximum multiplier from the left to produce this value and result is like from adding those value up so yeah um, we try to solve by recursion here and then we try to solve the tree if let's say the array is full right we take the whole array and return the result and then when we try to solve it uh, if we only have one node as a tree then the result itself is the, mul the multiplier of course it's itself and the result is zero because it says like um, the smallest possible sum of values of each non-leaf node so that's why i mark it as zero because we want to exclude the leaf value from the sum so that's why initially it's zero if it's a leaf node by itself right so the next thing here is if it's not valid then we just return one multiplier and zero um, just to prevent the overflow and then the next thing here is we look through all possibilities so um, let's say we have the array of 624 right here so we want to try to solve it by 6 as one tree and 24 as another tree and then we try to merge those up and so we try to first we try to split it in this way second time we try to split it in this way right so that's what the first iteration try to do and second iteration try to do and we got the result from the 6 and 2 4 or the 6 2 and 4 from this and then we can get the new result like um, the multiplier of current node is like the maximum multiplier of either from the left side or right side so because like here um, we want to return four to the upper side right from the eight from the left or right side of it so that's why here is like the maximum multiplier will return and then the result is like um, the non leaf node from the a non leaf node from the b and then the current node so the current node is eight because of two times four here and we need to check whether it's a minimum or not if it's now assign it if the result of the minimum is larger than current result then we remember the newer result and then store it in dp 
for the range of start until end as one tree and whenever we met that um, problem again we just directly return it there so yeah after we finish the entire equation we just need to return the result there as the the answer uh, is the result and maximum multiplier i need to pass it up so we can calculate right so that's why the result uh, i want to uh, return multiple result like two result here and so that's why i create a class yeah that's it about the third question um, thank you for watching and see you on the next weekly contest